Yes. Uh, pardon the interruption. Pooch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, GoFundMe had, as, as far as I can remember, right, had never seen me before. Boop. Now, we're going to make things official. Mm -hmm. Each of these websites has to generate an income to pay their employees. Yes. There's what's known as um, service providers. Yeah. Data and share it. Ouch. Well, I decided to Google what's known as the share it with service providers. Mm -hmm. Ended up on a, a website called Snowflake. Ouch. And I thought, boy, I would like to know all of the data that is shared with all the service providers. Yes. Because let's say I did open a GoFundMe account. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about it. Yes. I think I have some real legal needs to sue certain individuals. Yes, it does. And then there are institutions, departments, agencies of the federal government that if I could just get that, uh, that first million, millions of dollars. Well, it's really good that it's there. Mm -hmm. And I kind of been campaigning about wanting my rights enforced. Yes, she has. <laughs> See, you reissued a protection order in 2012. Yes. And you did it by minute order. Yeah. I wasn't given five judicial days notice and opportunity to be heard. Yes. And um, then there was the reissuance of it in 2015. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was no attempt of service from June 1st to June 12th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then 48 days later, you had a permanent court hearing where the petitioner didn't sign it. Yes. See, it actually says that I didn't receive actual notice of the hearing. Yes. That I was or was not present. That the order uh, was not issued in accordance with the full faith and credit provisions of the VAWA. Yes. And these five minors named, they're still in the wrong grades? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're still being exploited so the, co the coach and his wife can continue to have the Maybe I need a GoFundMe account. Poop. Do you remember getting arrested for this? Oh, failure to appear where you sent it to 1023 Kitchen Dick Road. <laughs> you know, just thinking about Mike Van Proyne and how much fraud that he's uh, been involved in. Yes. You know, uh, tomorrow is Easter. And um, are you absolutely sure that Marilyn Van Proyne wants to continue to reside with him? Yeah. I documented the exploitation of their miracle from Haiti. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, the use of a picture of my sister Susan Bowers in the Rotarian newsletter. Yes. Uh huh. And how many of those in my family have actually been paid uh -huh, to cause me a lot of torture and pain. Poop. Now, I spent 27 days in jail after I was arrested in Squim, Washington. Yes. See, they didn't arrest me in Port Angeles. No. Mm-mm, mm-mm. It was on July, uh, no, uh, September 24th of 2016. Yes. I was arrested in uh, Squim, Washington. Yes. The same city that used uh, a traffic citation for the two count allegation of committing uh, the crime of violating the, the protection order. Yes. Now, as I had documented, mm -hmm, I actually wasn't in that city on that day. <laughs> Uh, but nobody would exonerate me, and then you're using a traffic citation? Yes. And I thought for sure, okay, I was sleeping at the homeless shelter. I was on the bus that morning. Yes. Mm. Mm. I was at the Hagen's from 9 to 9.40. Yes. I was in this library from 10 to 5 that whole day, and I had the emails to prove that. Yes, he did. <laughs> the same city that said that I was in their city committing a crime mm. is the same city that arrested me for failure to appear is the same city that says that you can actually use forgeries to issue court orders. Oh, oh, oh. Now, let's say I have to go to GoFundMe. Boop! The thought was, yes, this might be a good idea to try to raise some donations for concern oh, <laughs> from the individuals that are concerned about <laughs> Squim Washington repeatedly had me arrested right now. Because they don't want me to sue them. Is that right? Mm -hmm. See, the, the, the concern, yes, mm -hmm. is that um, sharing the data with service providers. And I noticed that Snowflake represents a lot of different companies. And there's probably a lot of uh, data providers out there. Yeah, they had something in the billions of mobile phones that they were involved with. And tens of thousands of websites. Poop! 
Now, let's say I went to the data providers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could somebody find out if Facebook shares? Yes. Uh, click sign up below uh, mediums, terms, and privacy policy. Does Facebook share any data with any service providers? <laughs> mm -mm. Now, when you say that I was there and I'd never been there before, I could sign up with my Gmail account? Yes. You know how many email accounts that I have that are Gmail accounts? Choke. Mm. Does Gmail share with any service providers um, any of the actual documents in any of the drives? Um, I mean, I didn't read that closely, the privacy statement of Alphabet or um, Hotmail or Outlook. Yes. I know that how, um, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse, me. <laughs> excuse me right now. I'd like to know. Mm-hmm. Of all the, 